너무 통쾌 나나나 What were your expectations when you entered the program here at the Art Institute? Uh, I had a lot of expectations, mainly from the teachers. I wanted to learn like a ton of stuff from them. Like I thought every class would be different, and pretty much I've, I've gotten my expectations worth. Yeah. And what was your first day of school like? Uh, <laughs> my first day was pretty fun. Yeah, and then maybe. Um, well, I'm in student housing, so uh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I was I was hungover my first day. I shouldn't have said that either. Uh, anyways, so uh, being hungover my first day of class, it was hilarious. Um, it was uh, Fundamentals of Design with Paul Wenner. And I was completely blown away because I honestly thought that like, okay, first of all, he writes everything on the, on the board and you're supposed to go up and answer these questions. I'm like, what the hell? How am I supposed to do this? I don't understand. But we did it. It was a good day. Good. So far, what has been your most rewarding experience while here at the Art Institute? Um, the people, the people that you meet, your your uh, fellow students and whatnot. They're probably the best. They're probably the best people that you'll meet here, and you'll learn a lot from them. Um, people from older, uh, higher quarters. Uh, you know, friends. That's great. Um, are there any faculty that have motivated you beyond what you thought possible? There's a few. Uh, I've got like three that are worth mentioning, but like the, the best one is Hanson. Hanson is amazing. He knows so much and he talks like, he's just like inspirational and like just the way he moves is, is you want to reenact that. <laughs> Remember, it's not font names. If you, if you start listing like Helvetica and Garamond, that's wrong. It's the styles. You could say sans serif and then Helvetica would be a type of sans serif and that would count definitely. But if you just list fonts, that's not the right way. It's from those three history lectures. Um, so you'll do 11 of those. Again, you should already kind of know what those are. Um, and then you're going to diagram four letters. Um, an old style letter, a transitional letter, a modern letter, and a sans serif letter. And they have to be four different. Like, it can't be all A's or all I's. It has to be four different letters. And then diagram the anatomy completely. All the positive. Remember, the negative space has a very specific term, too, um, that we talk about several times. Um, and then also on each letter put the structure lines in. All those basic structure lines that we talked about before also. With all that in mind, do you feel the Art Institute is overpriced? Do I have to answer that honestly? <laughs> um, honestly, no. I don't think it is. I think that there are certain things that are just like, oh really, that's that much? But uh, no, I don't think it's overpriced. I think that you get your money's worth, definitely. What was your worst experience so far? Uh, I had to do a presentation. No, I'm just joking. Anyways, <laughs> um, my my roommates, my first my first quarter roommates, were, it was a pretty bad experience. But uh, yeah, not not really much school wise. Well, art students are infamous for um, being busy all the time. So how much sleep did you get last night? Uh, I think I got like four or five hours, maybe. I, I was up studying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, what do you plan to do after graduation? Um, that's kind of an open box right now. My, my goal is to become a, a concept artist of sorts. That's my goal. What would you tell a potential Art Institute student before they enrolled here? A lot of things. Um, mainly just, just try and take everything you can out of, a, out of your experience here. Every class, take, take what you can. And save your money. Save it. Great.
registrations away. Yeah. Serious face. Yeah. But my design's not like that. That's all right. You right. saw my hand drawing. Horrible. Yeah, and then you, then maybe. Exactly. I think too.